Welcome to your July super moon, full moon, in Capricorn guided meditation. I am so, so grateful to be guiding you through the next 30 minutes of finding your pure bliss, releasing, and reimagining your life under this powerful super moon in summer. Please find yourself a comfortable seated or laying down position. Make sure this position is nice and comfy as you want to not move for the next 30 minutes. Allow yourself to make any adjustments that are required during this time. Move any clothing, hair. You want to be comfortable enough so that you are able to slip into your subconscious mind but awake enough so that you do not fall asleep. As I lead you through the next 30 minutes, if any time I am not talking and you find yourself with racing thoughts or a beating faster beating heart, bring your awareness back to your inhales and your exhales. This will keep you grounded and will keep you from getting your mind going into more and more racing thoughts. If you haven't already done so, can you please close your eyes? Take a deep belly inhale for four, three, two, one, and hold for four, three, two, one, and exhale for four, three, two, one, and a big belly inhale for four, three, two, one, hold for four, three, two, one, and an exhale for four, three, two, one. You may resume your regular breathing. I'm sure you are feeling these intense high energies just like everyone else in the last couple days and tonight for sure. So to start off, we will do a relaxing, body relaxing exercise. So starting at your feet, only contract and clench your feet. And relax. Moving on to our calf muscles, only contract and clench your calf muscles. And relax. Next, your thighs. And relax. Next, your glutes. And relax. Next, your abdominal muscles. Your chest. Relax. Next, your arms. Relax. Next, your arms plus your fists. Relax. Next, your back. Relax. Next, your neck. Relax. Next, your face. Relax. Now imagining your heart is pulling all the energy from your limbs, from your feet, from your hands, and you can slowly feel the energy traveling back to your heart and to the center of your body. Calling in this energy is going to help further relax 
This is also a very powerful technique used to fall asleep super fast. If at any point during this time, your heart begins to race, your breathing becomes shallow, you have racing thoughts, bring your attention and your awareness back to your inhales and your exhales. Elongate them so your attention is strictly on your inhales and your exhales. This will make you feel more grounded and will bring your mind and emotions back to the present moment. During this time, you may have situations or thoughts start popping up in your mind as I talk. Allow these thoughts to come up as they are a great indicator of what is running in your conscious mind and your subconscious mind without your awareness. These may be things that need to be re-looked at, re-examined, things that need to be released during a super full moon is an amazing powerful time to release what no longer serves us what no longer is in alignment with our higher selves just make a mental note of these things and shoo them away as we will do some releasing a little later on. This super close, super full moon is in the part of the sky called Capricorn. This particular full moon is about examining and reimagining your life, examining the existing structures and rules in your life, seeing what fits, what no longer fits, and thinking of creative new channels of growth, if that is what is needed. With the heightened emotions and intense energies, you may have trouble sleeping tonight or others around you. During this time, you can see your full growth of the intentions that we set two weeks ago. It can be an incredible time to rebuild what is no longer working in your life renew your sense of freedom if you've been recently feeling trapped this moon phase offers the opportunity to rethink the rules you live by although you may feel incredibly alive right now it is also very possible to become just easily overwhelmed by this energy. You may have too many thoughts circulating in your mind. This energy can direct your attention to any unconscious patterns and behaviors that are ready to come to light and to be released. It's a very good time to think about what's holding you back from having your spark back feeling alive and expansive and free and getting down to the nitty-gritty and discovering who you really are. Perhaps your mindset could be affecting how you engage with the world. Are you approaching people from a place of fear or a place of confidence? Are you playing an active role in leading your life 
or have you placed projects on hold? This energy can help activate an emotional transformation that might be what is needed to propel you forward. At the same time, if you did not set any intentions in the last two weeks, try not to be overly hard on yourself and show yourself some compassion. This can be a great moment to see where improvements are needed without judgment. Know that you can experience empowerment by simply saying yes to what may initially scare you and trusting that you have the determination to face what lies on the other side of what truly scares you. Under this super powerful super moon, super full moon, is a good time frame to show gratitude towards yourself in terms of what foundations you've already created and to remind yourself that you're more than capable of building the life of your dreams. The energies right now are very supportive and will give you the power and tenacity to start over and nothing is ever a loss. Each step helps you move toward another level of fulfillment. It's never too late to start over. Resetting existing structures doesn't mean that you've wasted any time. In fact, you're just learning what works for you, having the courage to implement it. It is an invaluable lesson that you'll keep for a lifetime. Performing a body scan now, starting from your feet, moving on up slowly towards your head. If you find a place of uncomfortability, aches, pain, soreness, itchy, tingliness, any part of your body that is screaming for you to move, build a root system out of this body part that is going down through the floor and meeting the soil. Once you break the soil, your root system can go as far wide and far down below as they would like. Imagining yourself connecting with the root system that is already existing within our soil connecting to the very smart, smart network of mycelium that allows and nurtures plants from miles and kilometers away. Allow Mother Earth to nurture and hold space for your problems, for the energy that you are now going to try and release. Simply setting the intention of releasing what is no longer serving you, what is no longer fitting into this reimagined life of yours, 
what no longer is authentically keeping you happy and in a state of fulfillment simply releasing it down your root system and energetically letting it go down into the soil in the following next couple days you want to reaffirm this connection by placing your bare feet on some grass allowing your physical body to make this connection also lets your body know that you are ready to release anything that has come up to light Allowing this kind of a change and release in your life takes a lot of courage. It takes courage to look at yourself, to bring awareness to your own actions and thoughts, and then it takes a lot of courage to release what no longer is serving your highest good. As we set intentions, we always want to put a filter of and for the betterment of me so that you never attract something that is not good and not meant for you. As sometimes as us humans can think that things are good for us bringing in career opportunities that might be good for us but end up being more harmful for our mental health and our physical bodies putting in this filter of only bringing in what's best for you removes the possibility of bringing that damage voluntarily into your life. As you continue to release some things to consider You want to see and think of how you can redirect your attention and your intentions to fulfill your goals and dreams. This could be by developing healthier boundaries. How can your life with family and community become more enjoyable? How can you overcome any restrictions you are facing in any uncertain areas in this uncertain time of all of our lives? How can you be aware of falling in certain controlling pitfalls of your life trying not to become overly attached to the outcome of your efforts ideally you can relax and enjoy giving and receiving nourishment and avoid taking anything personally if you or the people in your life are currently struggling. Also be on guard and look out for 
some extreme attachment to your past. You don't want to look at these old ways and traditions as having a perfection that didn't actually exist. If you're clinging to a certain notion of home and material security that is not healthy for you or your family, you may want to reconsider your intentions behind and your motives behind your goals. Remember not to judge yourself for failing to set intentions or for not carrying them through or getting your motives to be in alignment with the older past version of you. Right now, focus on the expanded awareness that you have and what actions you can implement that you know are worth taking. During full moons, our emotions can be very heightened. You can become overly emotional with your loved ones or a deeper grievance because you are missing a nurturing connection. As there are many reasons to be in grieving or globally all around or personally, during this time you want to establish or re-establish a close, deep and secure connection with your family and community. This can be a time of expanded sense of the role of elders and elder knowledge, including karmic and family ties and lineages. Releasing the urge to saying no to experiences that push you outside of your comfort zone. Releasing, romanticizing old ways or traditions. Releasing any old work-life imbalance habits that you've picked up. Making sure you're allocating enough time for self-care. And how can you play a more active role in leading your life in the direction that you wish under the correct motives? This Capricorn new moon allows us to really re-examine and re-imagine our ideal lives and brings practical, creative solutions in how to bridge this gap. Allow yourself some extra time To sit and think of what actions can be taken to bridge this gap slowly day by day so that the compounding actions will play out a much bigger role.
remember to continue setting the intention of releasing and grounding yourself in this current reality. As you are reimagining your new life, remember to keep yourself grounded within this life. Please use the remaining time of this meditation to think, imagine, and feel your new life, the abundance that awaits you. Releasing any doubt that this reality is a possibility for you. I am so, so grateful to have led you through this powerful guided meditation. Please follow along for new meditations every two weeks at the new moon and full moons. Until next time.